We're currently on course for record temperatures for December, December 2015, in more than 100 years of records. We're also on course for record rainfall for large parts of the UK, including Scotland, Wales and Northwest England. It's very difficult to pinpoint the exact cause of the recent extreme weather. But what we know from historical observations and computer model simulations is that the big El Nino that's currently going on in the Pacific is likely to increase the risk of a strong jet stream, heavy rainfall and stormy conditions for early winter. There are other factors too, but El Nino is one of the things we can point to. Climate change is a slow, cumulative uh, increase in the heat content of the Earth system. That means that it's very hard to use climate change to explain the year-to-year -year changes in regional climate as we've experienced, for example, this year with the extreme December. About the most we could say for sure is that climate change will increase the temperatures and the water loading of the atmosphere. So when you get the right situation for heavy rainfall, it will be all that more heavier due to climate change. But it is not the primary reason why we've seen such an extreme December. Climate change continues to drive increasing global temperatures and it also drives an increasing in the water loading of the atmosphere. So when you do get rainfall, it is likely to be heavier due to climate change. However, climate change operates on a very long time scale, decade to decade or many decades, and this means that it's very hard to use climate change to explain a year-to-year -year change such as we've seen this December. Instead, we point to the circulation, the change in the atmospheric flow out in the Atlantic, and we can attribute that to some degree to other factors like the big El Nino that is going on in the Pacific. The very mild, wet, stormy conditions we've seen through December and actually to some degree in November were well predicted in our long-range outlooks and we've seen an increased risk of those things for some time now. However, we don't expect that risk to persist all the way through until the end of winter and the latter part of winter looks like the risk of heavy rainfall and storminess will be much less.